Hello there and welcome to yet another lesson. Today we're going to look at our neighboring countries, okay, and then the cultural exchanges that Ghana has with her neighbors, okay. So we must have learned about Ghana and her neighbors in the previous class, okay. We learned that Ghana, we learned that our neighbors are people who live next or close to us. So do you play with your neighbor? Have you exchanged it with your neighbor before? It is good to have a relationship with your neighbors so that if you need help, they can come together and help you. Ghana has some neighbors and some of them are at the eastern part, others are found at the western, others north and then, and sorry, others are found at the northern part of Ghana. So these neighbors are those who are close to Ghana. There are some who are close to Ghana and there are others too, who are a bit far away from Ghana. Okay. So can you mention some countries that Ghana shares a border with? Maybe you can, maybe you cannot. But we shall look at all these things as we go on. Okay, so in the picture, can you show me where Ghana is? So Ghana is at the very bottom, okay? Ghana is down here, and you can see that our map has been shown there. And Ghana has neighbors all around it. Ghana has neighbors all around it, okay? So the countries that do not share some same borders with Ghana are called the distant neighbors, okay? They are the distant neighbors. So we can talk about Algeria, Mali, Mauritania, Guinea, Nigeria. They are all distant neighbors of Ghana. So, all these are possible, I mean, all these countries are neighbors of Ghana and based on that, Ghana exchange cultures with them, okay? So, other people also travel from other countries to Ghana to do business, as well as some Ghanaians travel to those countries to also do what? To do business. And this is possible because of the cultural agreement <coughs> between Ghana and her neighboring countries. Okay, so let's look at some of the cultural exchanges that happen between Ghana and the neighboring countries. So, cultural exchanges between Ghana and her neighbors. Can you mention some of these cultures? It could be language, it could be festivals, it could be marriage, it could be others, okay? So, the first one we are going to look at is um, language. One of the common cultural practices between Ghana and her neighbors is language. Ghana exchanges common language with Togo, which is Ewe. There are Ewe people in Togo and there are Ewe people in Ghana who speak, in Ghana who speak Ewe. Okay. Another one is food. So, majority of Ghanaians have traveled to the neighboring countries to trade and in search of food such as Gari, cassava, and the rest. Okay. Due to this, some Ghanaians have learned how to eat food from those countries. Now there is dressing. Be due to the exchange in culture between Ghana and her neighbors, we, ha the, we have learned the their way of dressing, okay? Ghanaians have learned their way of dressing. They have also learned Ghanian, the Ghanaian way of dressing. It is common to see people from neighboring countries wearing common clothes such as smock, etc. Farming. Another cultural practice between Ghana and her neighbor is farming. So people from the neighboring countries are farmers. Sometimes they bring onion and tomato from Burkina Faso. This shows that most of the Burkina Faso farming, most of the Burkina Bays are, so, are farming. Sorry. So some festivals between Ghana and her neighbors. So some of the festivals include Christmas because it's a religious festival and there are Christians in in those countries, so we all celebrate Christmas. There is Edo Ada because there are Muslims too in, in those neighboring countries, so they also celebrate the Edo Ada festival. Now, let us look at some rocks. Let's look at some rocks. So, maybe you have seen a rock before, maybe you have not seen one before, but let's look at the picture. Let's look at the picture. So maybe you have seen a rock, maybe you have not seen a rock before, but we have a few examples here. So let's take a look at them. So there are different types of rocks, okay? There are different types of rocks. 
Have you seen any of the rocks displayed down here before? Okay. What are their use or their importance? What are they used for? So rocks are used for building houses. They are used for construction of roads, bridges and dams. They serve as a source of water supply. An example is the Boutique Falls in the Eastern region. They serve as a source of tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. They are also they are also sold for foreign exchange, okay? And then they provide revenue to the government through company tax. Rock serves as a source of fuel and they are used in making cement. An example is a limestone. So we've come to the end of this lesson. I hope you have enjoyed yourself and you have learned something new today. Okay, so until I meet you next time, keep on reading your books as I say always.